Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another um, Blender tutorial. Today in this Blender tutorial we'll be making low poly clouds. So this is continuing on for the um, last week's tutorial which was low poly trees and the week before that which was low poly mountains. So I'm slowly gathering this all up. Um, anyway, I'm sorry for no GIMP tours. There might be one coming soon, I hope. Um, I've just lost inspiration for GIMP tutorials. Um, I don't use GIMP anymore. I use Photoshop. Um, but I will try my very hardest to get the best, best out for you. Um, so do expect future tutorials. I'm never saying, I'm not saying there's no more GIMP tutorials. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there are there's always going to be a tutorial a week. They may not be GIMP. They may be Blender. Or other programs might come in somewhere. Anyway, so GIMP coming, GIMP tutorials are coming back. Um, I just need to work on them a bit more than Blender tutorials because I do a speed art in Blender and then I've got all these assets I can make a tutorial on. So that's what I'm doing slowly, getting through them. Um, so anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. And so today we're just going to be making low poly clouds. So it's going to be a reasonably simple short tutorial. So let's get started. And there's a quick update as well. GIMP quick tips are coming back as well. So start off by deleting our two default items there. We'll leave the camera just for now. And we're going to add an icosphere. Now we want to add a modifier. Of course, the decimate modifier lower the ratio to around 0 0.5. Okay, and click apply. We're going to make a new material for our clouds. Make sure you're in the cycles render as well. And I'm going to make it a pure white, so just drag your slider all the way up. And don't forget to call it clouds. Okay, like so. Then we're going to, I think we might decimate it a bit more. Something like that. You should have done that. I should have done that originally. So we're going, going to go to view front. We're going to shift D to duplicate it. And we're going to scale it down. So these were the clouds I used in my low poly isometric speed up. And again, shift D and scale it down. Now just to set up your cloud scene, so again I'm going to view from the front, so I'm just going to lift up a bit, that's your clouds. Ensure those two shapes have the cloud modifier, uh, the cloud material, just ensure that. Okay, now we're going to join the shapes together by hitting Control J on your keyboard Okay, now we're going to add a mesh plane, RX90 to make it upright. We're also going to go view front, Don't forget, you can duplicate your clouds. Um, you want to move them around as much as possible. Because we might be adding um, some depth of field. So I'll go through the whole rendering process with you guys today. Um, like in the last one, I just skipped the whole rendering process. Um, but in this one, I'll go through it slowly. So vary your locations of your clouds. So this is a pretty nice cloud scene we're getting here. Um, yeah, if we'll just delete our camera. And for the material, we're going to make a nice sky blue. Something like so. Also, we want to go into edit mode. And we're going to subdivide. Our, um, 
our plane back here. We're going to um, call this sign. Um, we're also going to add a modifier. to our shape here. Um, is it decimate? Can we decimate this? Nope. What modifier did I use? Displace. No, it wasn't this. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, we're just going to sort some points, hit O on our keyboard from proportional editing, hit G, make our scale huge. And just shift your, your base out a bit. Go to G. Just have some variant varies in your shape. So now we've got that, that's nice. Get out of edit mode so it makes us really, really nice. Let's push it back a bit as well. Okay, now we're just going to add our camera. So add camera, our X90 to get it reasonably upright. And we're going to drag it back. I'm going to ensure that it focuses on this. See, it doesn't need. Yeah, it needs zooming out. So let's zoom this out. Um, now that's, that's better. Let's just make this bigger. Definitely pull it back now. Okay, so we, when we go into a view camera, we want. Um, not on our camera. We want to go. Um, Go into our render options, make sure that's all high. We want sampling always render on 200, that's the settings I use. That needs to be bigger. Um, anything else I use? Do, 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 do. Camera, go into your camera thing. Um, make sure you have your composition guides in third so we can go to view camera and if you want your main focus always on one of these four points, so I need to move mine a bit. So I want my main focus on that. That. Just to get your composition right. Um, so I also need to do some more duplicating. Nice. Okay, let's give this render 200. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you in my next video.